Happy Sunday, friends. Today's video is going to be a marathon, a 2024 Spring and Easter Marathon. So sit back, grab your coffee, and relax. So let me introduce you to all my bunny friends. You know, they've been naughty all winter. They've multiplied in those boxes in the garage. These are my favorites that I had kept and these are a few of my decor items that I'll be using in my kitchen and coffee bar. So now we are going to start in my entry and I am going to decorate my little table, the little console I have in the front hall and I'm going to make try my best to make it look very English country spring. Just clean my mirrors, put them back on the table. This is a little bunny that I had um, got from Etsy. And this is my topiary that I DIY'd. I'm going to be using my dough bowl, putting in my wooden bunny. I just love these bunnies. I had sort of made a little um, baby's breath necklace for a few of them to just make them look really feminine and sweet. Here I'm just putting a little stem of greenery that I got at the Tattered Tulip, some books, and finishing it off with a clay pot with some excelsior moss and some little eggs. I brought back my chair, put a basket on it, and I'm going to fill it with some flowers. These ones are hydrangeas. And then I'm just going to add a very light blanket that I got at the dollar spot at Target. I thought it would be a finishing touch. and I'm really loving the way it all turned out. I've always had a thing for topiaries. I have a lot of them in my home, but I've stored a lot of them because I don't have the space for all of them. I love this little wired cloche with my little pot with my little mushrooms. I love the look of the stacked books underneath the little topiary. This little topiary I got at the Tattered Tulip as well. And I just love the bow that I put on my round topiary at the back there. I got this ribbon at Michael's. So next we're going to go into the kitchen and I'm going to just do a little vignette on my kitchen table. I had bought a new tablecloth and it was so pretty. It's like a striped gray and a dark gray and um, I had to wash it first so I couldn't put it on the table. Anyway, so I'm loving this vintage crock that I had bought years ago and I put in all my little peonies that I got at Michael's and I love it so much I don't think I'm ever going to change it. I wish I could get more. They're always out of stock for some reason. 
And here I'm just adding a bunny to a little nest that I made and putting a glass cloche over top of him to keep him warm and to stop him from multiplying. And here's a little colander that I had and I'm just going to add a little um, bird's nest inside adding three little eggs. I just love this. I think it turned out so sweet. Now I'm going to be making a little vignette over here in the corner of my kitchen. I always have some little vignette in this corner. Using the same basket I got at Target. The same little dishcloth I got at the Tattered Tulip. And here is the new print that I had printed from Etsy. I have a thing for tulips as well, as you know. I can't stop. Adding some plates, a little wreath, and then another bunny that I got at the Tattered Tulip. And this time I'm going to be using a wire cloche. So I hope you liked this video showing you the three different ideas for decorating for spring and Easter. to tackle the living room and give it a nice spring refresh with some new pillow covers and a new throw and then we are going to come into the kitchen and I'm going to start decorating my mantle for spring and Easter. Remember this window that I had in the garage I told you? I, I showed it to you and it was dark brown I think so I just sort of whitewashed it white and now I'm going to sand it. tablecloth and I folded it into I think I folded it in half and it was a bit long but that's okay just thought I'd change the runner for spring
Today's video is gonna be all over the place. I'm gonna be doing a DIY, baking a banana bread, and then I'm going downtown to visit a girlfriend for her birthday, I love the city. And then I am going to finally decorate my hallway for spring and Easter. So if you like that kind of video, keep watching. So, you know, I've had a, a problem with the little birdies on my front porch and my wreaths for years. I've done everything. I bought snakes, like fake snakes, plastic ones from the Dollar Tree. I have purchased um, little uh, skewers to put into the wreaths. And they still found a way to put the little butts in between those little sticks and uh, make nests. So I now use peppermint oil with cotton balls and I put them in between the little tulip inside and it works perfectly. So now remember I told you I was going to make a sign for my front hall that said cottage and I was going to I had this brain wave that I was going to add a piece of wood a plank of wood to an old sign of mine that I bought at Hobby Lobby for Valentine's Day and I was going to write the word cottage and so that I would be able to change up the letters I was going to buy some command strips and use them to move the letters around well I made a mistake and I bought the command strips that just are sticky so they are not the velcro ones so I thought I already bought them at the dollar store I can't return them so I thought I would use them and so I'm going to start off with painting this plank this piece of wood with my white paint sometimes they have all these brain waves or great ideas and it costs me more money than if I just bought a sign in the first place. I'll never learn. So these are the command strips that I had bought. These are the sticky ones. I mean they will come off. I'll just have to buy more. And these are the ones with the Velcro. So this is the, the bigger size that, you, that I'm going to add to the back of the piece of wood. And then I'm going to stick it onto that sign. And I used heavy duty ones so that it doesn't fall off. This way I can take it off, you know, for Valentine's Day again. So I put the little stickers on the back of the cottage sign. And then I had made a banana bread and I let it cool. And then I usually put chocolate tips in my banana bread, but I didn't have any. So I just used some cocoa powder and some icing sugar, mix it together with some water. And then I just sort of glazed the banana bread just to give it that extra chocolatey feeling <laughs> or that chocolatey taste. I haven't made a banana bread in a while. I mean, through the C word um, time there, what we went through the pandemic, I made a banana bread every other day. That's why I gained weight eating banana bread. So off to the city. I just love, love, love the city. This is a friend of mine and she has the most beautiful condo near the lakefront and she decorates beautifully, exquisite. Since I've been there last, I think I haven't been here in two years because of the pandemic, I have uh, noticed that she's added a few pieces and some beautiful uh, greenery like this agave. Yes, her son told me it was an agave plant. And look at this, she loves, loves art. And I think this palm really, really suits the place. It's really exciting when you go downtown. I think she thinks she's Picasso. <laughs> it's really scary when you look down because it's all window all the way down. Sometimes I get a little bit nervy when I look down. Anyway, here I am with her son and we are having a drink of a glass of wine, I should say. Because you know I am a lush. 
Art Time Lush. My name's Susan Linda, not Susan Lush. So I thought this bedroom was really nicely decorated. I love these glass little um, tea light holders. And the decor was so pretty. Of course, I saw Louis Vuitton and I had to take a video of it. This is a little study they have. It's quite roomy for a condo. And these are her kitties. Mercy, are you sweet? Oh, you're such a good girl. Can I touch you? Hey. Oh, you're the sweetest, pretty girl. You're a pretty girl. You like being up here, looking at the view? Yeah. Who's the prettiest? Who's beautiful? You're a snobby little rich princess, aren't you? Oh, you're looking at me? I love the sights of the city. So here we go, friends. We're going to decorate my hallway. I'm just cleaning the mirrors first. I'm kind of late in the game decorating for spring and Easter. I mean, Easter's just around the corner and I'll have to put it all away soon. Here's that beautiful frame that I had bought and I had put that Etsy print inside. And I'm just adding a little wood riser here and adding a few touches to the front hallway. My chocolate bunny. No, it's not real chocolate. Adding a few tulips. And yes, I am using some color. Wait till you see the kitchen. A little nest of eggs. I'm leaving the same wreath that's been here for a while. I got this cute little um, brown container. It looks like chocolate. It's actually something you can use in the oven, I was reading, like for a brie. I'm not sure if I would use it in the oven. I'm using it for chocolates for now. It always reminded me of the movie Matilda, you know, when they go, when she goes to uh, Miss Crenshaw's house and they find a box of chocolates and they actually eat one and I've always liked that idea of having a pretty box of chocolates in the front hall for guests. And yes, it tasted good. So I put up my sign and I had just got this little basket here, a little wall basket at Michael's the other day. And uh, they were 60% off. I think regularly they were 25, so I got it for 10. I added a few wispy branches of florals and a few branches of eucalyptus. And I'm not adding anything else to the um, 
to the hallway. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I thought this was just enough. And of course, I'm, I've already done this area. You saw it in one of my other videos. I just thought I'd take you for a little run through to show you again. I'm really happy the way it looks. It turned out so pretty. And one more area that's left is this little side table. I'm just going to clean it. I use uh, kitchen towels for bath towels because they have like way more selection, especially for the holidays. So I went on the trend of this cute little felt bunny from, I think I got him at Hobby Lobby. They also have him at Walmart. So I couldn't help myself. So I hope you enjoyed this video, friends, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now. to see if all my chocolates are in here. I don't trust my kids. I'm just going to take a second here to show you a new book that I had got, The Year of Cozy. It's very much like a Liz Marie Galvin kind of book. It's that same kind of setup. It's a really nice book and it was at Chapters or Indigo for $10. See, it's got all the different um, months like spring, fall, winter, and it gives you some information 
um, you know, just some fun things to do for that season, some recipes, some crafts. It's a really nice little book. And the author is, if I can remember, her name is Adriana Adarme. So I went shopping again and I found this cute little wicker basket at uh, HomeSense. And I went to a bulk barn to find some, some candies for my coffee bar. And I found some eggies and some little chocolate Easter bunnies that have caramel inside. Look how cute they are. So I thought I'd share this little, it's not really a DIY, I just put together these, these two glass canisters, so easy to, to do. I just added some moss to the bottom. It's sort of like a pretty scene in a glass jar, like almost like a cloche. And I put this little picture that I had DIY'd a few years ago, a little nest. And in the other one, I'm just using a page that I tore out of an old book, just folding it so that it stands up in the jar. and then adding a little ceramic bunny that I got at the Tattered Tulip. to the uh, thrift shop and I've been looking for some vintage antique kind of looking books for using them for risers decor and I found some and they were two dollars each I lucked out now this color is a bit bright for me but it's okay when it's turned around like that anyway I sterilized everything I always have to sterilize everything you never know where it's been anyway this one here is not as old this one here copyright is um let me see where is it 1921 okay that's still old but then i'm looking here it's pretty old okay so that's the first one i have to show you this one look at this look at the book look how old it is it's all cracked and tattered isn't it funny before the decor uh, trend came in with the vintage books i would have thrown this out i wouldn't have even touched it now i like them and i've always liked the historical meaning inside like Look at this, how beautiful her writing was. Wishing you a Merry Christmas from Edna, 1913. Isn't that beautiful? Like I'm touching it, thinking about who she was. I'm getting goosebumps. I love, I'm not really into like old furniture, like some wood, wood pieces. Like I don't like those velvet couches with the gold tassels, but I do like, you know, old, old um, pieces of furniture that you can refurnish refurbish but I just love things like this because I can I feel it like I almost can see her I'm mental I know anyway look so old I think it's falling apart oh it is falling apart but I like that something oh here it is look look at the stickers like when I was a kid to dad from Duke and Haiti Christmas 1948 
and so I got something in the mail today. I was looking forward to it. I wanted some new uh, soap dispenser and a lotion dispenser. And I had amber glass before, but I wanted something with a nice, you know, brushed kind of brassy gold um, hardware to it or a pump. So I got these. They are by the company, by, uh, I think they're called Vine. And they are glass amber bottles with, uh, I think, rust resistant. Um, brass colored pumps and it comes with a few different labels so I thought I would use them for the dish soap and the other one for hand lotion you know I mean a lot of people put hand soap by the uh, sink I just use the detergent for my hands so I need some lotion because my hands are so dry and I have a million different lotions upstairs and I always forget to bring them down so these are quite nice and I love the color of the, uh, they call it brushed nickel, but it's to me it's brass. So here we go. I'm going to start decorating my coffee bar for spring and Easter. Instead of yapping, I am going to be quiet, zip my lip, and let you enjoy it with some nice background music.
today we are going to work in the kitchen. I'm going to start off here on top of the fridge and change some hydrangeas that I used to have. I got them from the garden and they dried really beautifully. And I'm going to hang them up in the garage and use them another time. I thought I would change it up in, uh, in the basket and just add the new faux hydrangeas makes less mess that's for sure i got these at hobby lobby and they're beautiful it gave me a reason to clean on top of the fridge So we're going to start in the kitchen. I got this marble tray from Target. I thought I'd change things up. I usually have a white ceramic plate. And then I just added my little wooden bunny. So these are the, the new um, Amber Glass soap pump and body lotion pump that I had got on Amazon. It was time for a change. So next I'm just going to rearrange um, a little vignette that I had in the corner. I'm just adding one of my berry baskets that I got at Target. I love this little bunny. I got him at the Tattered Tulip. I kept these, this arrangement the same, just added a white ceramic bunny. Of course, some new fresh Easter towels for the kitchen. Always a must. So for a while, I've been wanting to do these little frames for the fridge, and I've been looking at little frames at Michael's, but they're so heavy, I'm worried they're gonna fall off. So then I saw this on a DIY on, I think Instagram, where they use stickers from Hobby Lobby. So I just sort of brushed them with my antique gold rub and buff and now uh, I printed some pictures off and just going to put them like this and then put the magnets on the back. These magnets and they should hold on the fridge so let's get going. I'm nervous. I'm nervy. Let's try another one. Let's try this one. Okay. So what they said is just to peel it off. So I'm just going to sort of lay it down, center it, and then press down. So they're done and they're put on the fridge and I think they look lovely. I did them in black and white so it wasn't too colorful because you know me in color. So 
I think this looks very cohesive and looks very tidy on the fridge. My parents in Florida, my last trip to Florida with my dad, we put our feet in the sand and I took a picture. My kids when they were young, in the backyard, big sunflower plant behind them. My daughter when she was younger, Here's with her first son and her husband. And then here are my two little sweeties, Logan and Lily. decorate my shelving in the kitchen and I won't talk and I'll just play some nice music for you to enjoy.
So friends, I'm really loving the way my kitchen turned out so far, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.